Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. Today we finished the brooding part of our chicken coop and got the babies moved in here. Join us in this episode. Welcome to our vlog. We are the Milnes family. We started building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska in the summer of 2021. That's my husband, Aaron. I am Jessica, a stay-at-home wife and mom. Our second son, Caleb, lives here with us along with our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt. We brought our two dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and got a new addition, the Alaska dog, Roberto. Okay. I had to put on a hat and some old sweatshirt stuff. I'm gonna show you how far we made it. Yes, someone asked, I thought your chicken coop was done. The area that the chickens are actually in is finished, except when we did it, we had bought all of this. There's a white plastic on the wall. We had bought all that our Home Depot had, and I kid you not, we have checked for months. Oh, look an egg we checked for months they finally had some i needed two pieces two whole pieces to finish the coop uh where the chickens actually are so I needed one for here and one for this back wall so it's not that the chickens get up here this high so see that this part of the wall is done it's that we don't want the walls getting full of the dust and dirt like just see and this has been recently cleaned but chickens put off so much dust and so much dirt that we are protecting the structure itself because at the end of the day it would be cheaper to replace a $30 piece of plastic than it would the whole wall part of the coop so we did go with something a little cheaper on this other area where just baby chickens will be. And Aaron's building my brooding boxes. Chickens will lay eggs anywhere. They're totally, look, look at this one. Will let me pet her. It's this one, but she won't, they won't stop pecking my feet. Aren't they funny? Look at her, look at her scratch. <laughs> she loves it. Hi guys. Okay, so that's inside the coop where they're at. The floor is uh, got some laminate on it or vinyl. This is a triple pane window that was broken. And so whoever did the windows in the house, the manufacturer sent a new window. Well, what was broken was just the latch that locks it. Well, they don't need it to lock. If someone's gonna break into my chicken coop, they're gonna break in. And I don't need it to lock because I can get it to shut fully, and that's great. So that's a triple pane house window. And then we did these other two. So this is the room, the space for when we're doing the baby chickens. The door got left outside, so Aaron rebuilt a new door. A screen door goes here so that I can see when I'm coming in, this area will be the only area with any form of heat and it'll be kept away from the chickens, water and food where they can come and warm up in the winter time, but it will not be like a fully heated deal out here. And then this is the tack room and it is a mess just garden stuff and chicken stuff and everything. So I'm going to get to cleaning it out. We have all of the insulation and the wall material. This door is built and needs to get installed and we're gonna work on this coop. Okay, so I cleaned this room and I'm going to spray foam the windows. We're not looking for that kind of like insulation or whatever. Sorry that it's dark, it just is dark. There's no electricity out here. But what we are trying to do is make sure that everything is waterproof. So let's get to it. We're using R15 on the walls. We would have liked a better insulation, but we did build the walls out of two by four. And this is the only insulation that we could get at our local Home Depot that would go into the walls of the coop.
<laughs> what are those things called then? Huh? What oh, are those called? Gap. Where? On this side. Where? Bro, oh, you ain't even tied against the level. Okay, I'm gonna push it against the level. Right there. Go ahead and put a new screw up. Just take it out. Okay, Wyatt. Put a screw in against here, Wyatt, on the bottom. This is going to help seal the air off from the door so it's not leaking so we don't in the way. Screw it in. Okay. Put one right here. I get a measurement. We'll stick one on the top. We'll cut one to the top. Watch your fingers when you do that. It's gonna hurt. We do paint everything. I know partly you would think it's for aesthetics, and yes, of course, it looks better. But the reason we actually paint everything is to protect it long term with the ammonia and the dust and the dirt and all of those things. It makes it all easier to clean. Then I moved over and took down or cut out what I could of the uh, spray foam insulation out of the windows. And then we are going to use a plastic vapor barrier. And the reason we are doing this is if the moisture comes through, we want to keep it out or we want to keep whatever the chickens do in and we don't want it in our walls destroying the structure of the building. So in Alaska, it's recommended that you use a vapor barrier if you do any insulation. Okay, quick update. Okay. She's just slightly taller than me. So insulation is in, plastic is hung. And now we're doing the finish. Uh, this is primer. We primed in this room what will be exposed wall. And you can see because the plywood bleeds really bad. But up there is going to be um, a pegboard where we can hang stuff. So, but everything else is primed. And then we'll start insulating. We'll worry about this room later. Let's just pause and take a minute for the things that didn't work while building the coop. So the stuff was so slippery and then it's weird, it's thin. So when we went to put it on the ceiling, it was really hard to hold up there and then it was bowing and we ended up having to go to the Home Depot after this and get a piece that we could actually hold it against the ceiling and screw through that. And so we are going to move into the next day. All right, it's Monday. We are going to get as far as we can today. Ignore me, I'm a mess. I haven't showered or anything yet, but I get a lot of questions on Aaron and um, I woke up, he had the coffee going because he gets up really early. And I was like, what the heck is that noise outside? This is my husband. He is not, he does not weld anymore. Although he is a very, very highly certified, amazing welder. And it is the trade that got him where he's at. And I look outside and he is out here welding something for work. It's not for the house, but Aaron is an amazing certified structural, not pipe welder. What are you doing? Huh? What are you working on? Well, I'm not little gadget for work. What do they do? So we're gonna be pumping concrete down through it underneath the slab. Pumping concrete through them to the slab? Labor Day, my man is 
cut me some plastic. Take it all the way in the corner. Tight. And it should come out like that. Okay. Perfect. After trying to do the ceiling the day before, we realized we wanted to do the walls first. So that is what we began with on Monday the next day. I'm really sorry as we get through this video that I didn't get any video of the ceiling going in. And the reason was is I started to record it, but it actually took Caleb, Aaron, and I, all three of us, and there was no way of recording. Okay, this is, we've got the room. All of the room is done now. <laughs> Cody's in here with me. We are going to finish getting it ready for the chicks and get them moved over. And I found some shavings. Alaska's been sold out everywhere I've looked. And I'm gonna clean both of the, this coop and then get the other one ready. This is outdoor lighting and the bulbs are actually plastic. They are not glass and they can be used in my understanding in spaces like this um, because they're gonna be water resistant and all those different things, but it adds lighting to the coop that is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but I'm gonna take you through. The brooding room is done. The tack room, it keeps raining, so we keep shoving like the insulation and stuff in there that we need to be working on. I just need it to be dry long enough for me to finish that room. But let me take you through what we got done on the coop. I am so excited. There is still so much that we would like to get done. For instance, I need to get a specific size trim to trim out the windows. We'll pull the plastic. We'll get all that nice and cleaned up. The chickens needed to be moved over. And so it was important to get done what we could. We are going to build an identical screen door to this one in order to put in the other space so that I can see the chicks when I come in to the coop. We also have the insulation and the stuff to finish this part of the coop as well. And we will be working on that immediately. And then we will add lighting above, but we won't extend it all the way down as we don't want the chickens to actually be able to get on the light cords.
And now all the little baby chicks are getting to know the bigger chickens. And it's nice having them face to face without them being able to touch or peck or hurt the little ones, but they'll know each other when it's time to mix. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I am so excited with how it is all turning out. It takes a super long time. Remember, the coop is 16 by 16, so it's a really big space to finish up. But we have one room left to do, a screen door to build, and the ceiling over the big chickens and the two roosters area, but we're getting there. We're getting close. So thank you for sticking around. If you haven't yet, would you do me a favor? Hit that subscribe button. When you ring the bell, you get notifications. When you give us thumbs up and leave comments, all those things help our channel to grow. We love what we're doing here. We hope that you're enjoying it as well and we have so much we still want to show you before winter hits here in alaska thank you for being with us i do hope that you have a super blessed week that things are working out really really well and that you guys are also getting prepared for whatever season is coming next i will talk to you guys in the next episode bye until now